Hey everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. So I just wanted to make this video super quickly and talk about tips for talking with passengers. And I don't know why, but lately I've just been hearing a lot of different stories about how drivers just don't really know how to talk to their passengers. And I don't know if you saw, but David Spade actually tweeted out, I'll put it up here really quickly. He basically said that Uber should have a function where passengers can choose whether or not they want their drivers to talk to them. And as you guys might know, I have taken um, tons of rides as a passenger. And that's just because, you know, I want to know how other drivers are performing and stuff like that. And a lot of drivers, they just talk and talk and talk and talk. And they're talking about themselves and I really don't care about them that much, you know. Sure, if it's something about, I don't know, we work in the same industry or something, then cool, but like I had one driver talk about her trip in Morocco where she, almost she got kidnapped or something and I'm like, she was going out for like 30 minutes. I, I heard another story about somebody who was sick and their driver was just talking to them nonstop and you might think, oh, the passenger can just tell them to be quiet, but no, that's the passenger doesn't really want to do that. It makes it kind of awkward and uncomfortable. You know, you don't want to tell the person driving your own car, hey, be quiet. Um, so I just would recommend, if you're gonna talk to your passenger, keep the conversation focused on them. And if the passenger's not really responding, take that as a sign that they don't wanna talk to you. <laughs> and just drive them, you know, do your job of driving them to their destination. And I know a lot of people might think this is, you know, you might disagree with me or give this video a thumbs down, but I just wanted to, you know, make it super important that you know, keep your passengers in mind. Maybe they don't want to talk. Um, you know, you can get a really nice tip for a completely silent ride, and I've done that a lot myself. So, you know, um, keep keep in mind, um, you know, certain signs that your passenger might be giving you if they're not responding very much. There's a really good book about talking with people and how to influence people, how to make friends. It's actually called How to Make Friends and Influence People. It's by Dale Carnegie. He, it's one of the first books, I think it's the first book ever written on communication. Um, and he just talks about basically, talk, keep the conversation focused on the other person. And if you wanna ask your passenger, hey, you know, what's your plans or what are you, what are you up to? Um, then that's a lot better than you just going on and talking about your cousin's, sister's, uncle's wedding last year. You know, your passenger doesn't really care. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Should Uber and Lyft incorporate that feature for you know for your passengers to choose whether or not they want their drivers to talk to them? I, I think, honestly, it would be not a bad idea. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Have you had any experiences where your passengers were talking too much, where your driver's talking too much? Uh, let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this video, this video is a little bit different than usual, but I just felt like I wanted to uh, spark up this conversation and maybe we can come up with a solution together. You know, that's what the Ride Share Hub's all about, finding solutions. So, all right guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. All right, bye.